we have here is the um, final video for the modification of the RFID smart card reader device that's for sale on eBay. This is the only prototype that exists. All I'm going to do is turn it on. I've got my terminal window back here. It shows zero RFID tags in EEPROM. If you've seen the other video, then um, you're familiar with this basically does is the four buttons here have different functionality. If you take an RFID chip uh, fob and put it near the reader itself, it'll read the tag. And if you put a smart card on the bottom of it, then it'll read the smart card. Now, if you hold the very first button and then put an RFID tag near the reader in the back of it, it'll actually register that card and store it in the EEPROM memory. So I'm just going to take a few cards here and read them into EEPROM. It does not check if the card's already been read and saved in EEPROM, so if you do you know, use the same card over and over, it will just fill up the EEPROM. Uh, so we read a few of them there. I'm just going to power it off, keep the terminal on, turn it back on. See, we got five RFID tags in EEPROM. Um, there's no way to view the e tags or the pro the tags in the EEPROM through the reader itself. The only way you can do that is to um, this is the second button is to actually write the fobs to a smart card. Now this smart card is called A. I've got a marker labeled. Um, I'm just going to put it in so you can see it being read. It should be zeroed. I have two of these smart cards, and they're all zeroed out. Now, as you see, you can see the data on the LCD screen, but you also get it in the terminal if you connect it to a PC. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this A labeled smart card to copy the, those tags from EEPROM onto that smart card. Put it in there, verify they're written. After that, we'll put in the blank B card and then copy this A smart card to the B smart card and verify that data is written. So you can take RFID tags and actually copy them to EEPROM in the device or take those RFID tags from the device write them to a smart card and then you can also copy one smart card to another you don't necessarily, I mean the smart card can be anything as long as it's well, not the same, the one protocol this supports you can copy from smart card to smart card without having to do anything with RFID um, as you notice I didn't take it out when it said done so we're just reading it again because I wasn't paying attention So that was the A card. Um, I'll go ahead and put the B card in to uh, verify that that is blank. That's the B one. And again, there's previous videos um, that actually label the protocol. The RFID are EM4100 family protocol, uh, the 125 kilohertz ones. And the smart card is, I believe, the IS. 24C02 protocol smart card. Those are the only ones that will work with this device. Any other protocol will not work. So be aware of that. Done. Pull it out. Um, just I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and register a, another RFID tag just, just to make sure. Now the second button, if you hold that and insert an RFID card, or a smart card, I'm sorry, get confused, it's going to copy from the EEPROM onto this card. So now we'll get some data on this card. Once it shows you the data as it's writing it to the smart card, so you can tell this is the data that's going on the card. And this is this, those 10 digit serial numbers of the RFID fobs that were in EEPROM that are on the smart card. So now the A card has the data on it. The third button will copy smart card to smart card. So since this has data on it, I'm going to go ahead, hold the third button, reinsert it. As it reads the card, 
into um, storage on the chip, it's going to show you. So this is actually showing us what's on the card as well as saving it so we can copy it to the second card. Insert second card, B. It writes the second card and shows you the data as well, just like when you copied from EEPROM to the smart card itself. And we're back to the main. So what I'm going to do now, the B card should now have this data that we just wrote to it. It shouldn't be blank like it was the first time we inserted it. So I'm not going to hold any buttons. I'm just going to want to read the raw B card and say, hey, what's going on with that? And there's the new data that was originally from this smart card. So you can copy between two smart cards. And again, as long as it's the IS24C02 protocol smart card. It's the only ones that this thing can read. And that way you can copy from one card to another using the third button, holding down the third button as you insert the um, first card that you want to copy from. And then it'll tell you when to insert the second card to copy to. Now, all that's fine and dandy. Um, just read another tag real quick. What I'm going to do now, turn it off. Turn it back on. We've got our six RFID tags in the EEPROM. Once the EEPROM's full of RFID tags, you're obviously going to want to reset it. So um, that's the fourth button. You just you hold that, and it's going to erase the EEPROM. All the tags that are stored in the EEPROM will be reset. So see, it flashed up that it is erased. The only way to verify it is to um, boot it back up. See now there's zero RFID tags in EEPROM, so the EEPROM is now cleared, and you can store your RFID tags inside the EEPROM of the device once again. Um, so that's the new feature. The first button is RFID tag into the EEPROM. Second button is the EEPROM data onto a smart card. The third button is one smart card to another smart card, and the fourth button is to erase the, the EEPROM database to clear the device so you can load it with even more. So that's the um, complete functionality. The eBay auction is listed in the description. Um, it's the only one, this is the only device. I mean, I, I built it years ago. I've been modifying it, tweaking it ever since. So if you buy it, there's a manual and, of course, these videos. And you will be the only person in the entire world to have this specific device. So thanks for watching.